everyone in today's vlog I'm gonna be selling one of my handbags and I'm in a taxi right now and I'm on my way to Luxury Promise where I'm sure loads of you who watch me already know what Luxury Promise is but they basically buy and sell used handbags or even stuff that people haven't used and I'm on my way there to sell to them one of my bags and I'll show you which bag it is I'm gonna get a credit note because this Friday they have got a live stream I think on their Instagram and it's the Barbie themed uh, collection from Chanel from all the way back in the day and there is one particular bag which you know about it's that square top handle Chanel I want to be able to use my credit to try and get that unless someone else gets in there before me and buys it before me so that's what we're going to do and then after we're going to go to Harrods right so I've made it in I'm in luxury promise now Sabrina's just on a call so I'm going to wait for her uh, to be available but in the meantime as always let me show you some of the bags that are in stock I would say for any of you who want to come by the shop it's better if you look on their website first and then get them to bring in any of the bags that you're interested in because I from what I understand they don't actually have all of the stock here all of the stock is online in the shop though it's like a smaller amount that they um, refresh every so often so definitely do that um, so that you're not disappointed but some of the stuff here they've got some really nice stuff in at the moment so it's this that's so nice i love these bags the chanel flat bags that have got the top handle and there's uh are there prices on these no there's no price on that that's a saleron camera bag love saleron as you know this is that the diana bag i think it could be in caviar um and of course on the older bags this is all 24 karat gold um plated and the good thing is i don't know why but it doesn't seem to rub off you know, on the newer bags, the champagne gold colour can rub off a bit, but on these old other ones, these older ones, I never really notice it. And then one of you said to me the other day, I showed this bag, probably not this exact same bag actually, um, but I showed one like it in here and you were saying, that's my favourite bag. Um, and then there's another up here. So they've got a good selection. This is suede got a good selection um, of bags and things like these things like these can be quite affordable I don't think there's prices but like a speedy and that's the smaller size um, they do have oh, like this, this Prada bag as well they do have um, more affordable items but if you look on the website I'm not trying to sell it by the way I just love it in here and I find it quite handy to kind of know about this stuff oh that's nice too. Is there a price? No price. Mini Lady Dior. And then these are quite cool. They've got these cosmetics pouches. One is in the Epi leather. One is in the Verney. They're quite cool. This vintage Christian Dior bag. And then they always have quite a lot of um, designer clothing. So. I think a lot of this is Chanel actually. Chanel. I actually quite like the colours on that. It's quite cute. This jacket's nice. It's like quite a thick wool. And this is um, Chanel. I think it's a size 34. It's a bit... I st oh, I don't know. I could do that up, I suppose. Um, this is quite nice. I'm wearing it over a jumper though. Hello. <laughs> I'm wearing it over a jumper though. So it's smaller. Um, but if you're a size 34... This is actually really nice. This is it done up and I'm gonna get like there's a button missing. So I'm gonna guess, well they might actually have the button, you never know, you'd have to ask. But it's quite a nice cut actually, quite a nice fit. And you know, looking at it, I think I would just replace the buttons. I think I would. You can actually buy Chanel buttons on Etsy and I think I'd just replace them if they didn't have that one because the condition of this is actually really good this is it this is the bag that I'm hoping to uh, acquire when uh, Friday's show starts and underneath it's got the double C's and inside this is from 1995 I think spring summer and on the inside look it's got a heart-shaped mirror 
It's got the uh, authenticity card from Luxury Promise. Got the Chanel on the metal closure there. And this is all 24 karat gold uh, plated. So I'm gonna change in this round that's the bag that i'm hoping to uh acquire as i was just saying from uh i think it's friday's show isn't it's it friday, first of so when you see this the show will already have happened uh because this is going to go out on a sunday and the show's on the friday um hopefully i get in there quick enough because the live streams they get quite popular and the lives are really good actually if you haven't checked them out you should do um they're on the luxury promise website is where they happen and you can buy things as they're shown so like an icon comes up as each bag is shown and you can click it and you can buy it as you are watching so it's pretty good actually do you know on a friday night last friday instead of watching tv we just had a live going in the kitchen yeah because even if you don't want to buy anything i quite like seeing yes like all the different bags so yeah I agree. and also you get history behind it yeah you do so you do very interesting and we watched the hermes one and i'm not I'm not massively into Hermes. I like the bags, but I just wouldn't play the game. If you didn't have to play the game, I might consider the bags. The constants, you know, I've said that before. But we just ended up watching that and it was so fun to watch, really good to watch. So if I manage to get lucky on that bag, I will let you know. Well, I'll let you know later on in this video because I'm gonna do a haul at the end of this video and I'll be able to tell you then whether I won it or yeah, kind of, I kind of won it, but not for free. So that is that done. Sabrina's taken my bag. Uh, she's told me how much uh, she's gonna give me for it. Now that I think there are some formalities that um, she needs to go through, like go through, like photograph it and stuff. And in the meantime, I think they are gonna email me the credit voucher. I'm not sure, but I'll leave it in her capable hands. So, um, and one of you, Mary, if you are watching, Mary actually emailed me a couple of weeks ago because I said I was gonna sell that bag. And Mary was like, can you, Mary in the US, if you're watching, I won't say your surname. And Mary said, oh, can you let me know when you sell it because I wanna go and buy it. So Mary, I'm gonna email you tonight because it's Tuesday and this Thursday, um, in a live that I'm going to be doing but by the time of this video it will already have happened um, it's going to be going in that video so I'll email you and let me know but um, we're now going to head to Harrods I want to have a look in Dior and in Fendi uh, to see what's new um, I might also pop by Chanel and just see if there's anything in there and yeah, of course you're coming with just going to head into Fendi now this cute bag isn't it that's from the new Fendarchi mm -hmm. collection Peekaboo. Look at this teeny tiny look how cute is that so i've come into a fitting room and i've got a few things that i'm trying on including a pair of really nice looking sneakers that are from the fendarchi collection only they've had to go and get them because i think they're upstairs or downstairs i don't know what but these are the things that i'm going to try so we've got this t-shirt which this really reminds me of the 80s you know I think about my mum <laughs> you know like back in the 80s you wore a t-shirt that had a massive slogan on it and my mum used to wear like what are they like those cycling short things very 80s thought I'd try though and then these pair of jeans because you know I bought the pale pink pair well I, I absolutely love them and the fit of them is really good as well so I'm going to try those and they've got like the small icon there um also this dress which i thought i'd give give a go to these are the trousers they fit really well actually and they're quite high-waisted i want to show you in this mirror but it's really warped <laughs> this mirror like if i go here i'm slimmer than if i go here <laughs> or if i go here i'm slimmer again 
I don't even know which mirror is telling the truth at this point. Anyway, these are the trousers and they're like, um, what I quite like is they're slightly bigger at the bottom. What would you call that? Like a cigarette cut. Do like these. They've got a bit of stretch as well, but they really pull you in. I think these trousers with this top and the sneakers I'm about to show you would be amazing. This is that t-shirt. And I, I didn't realize, but it's actually got like a design on the back of it. So I'll show you that too. It's quite cute. It's quite, over it literally reminds me of my mum in the 80s and there's nothing wrong with that mum if you're watching <laughs> she'll be like excuse me <laughs> I do like that look zoom you in so you can see so as you can in, in gold it's basically got the Versace logo on the back which is quite nice and it's actually it's, it's um I'll zoom you back out again actually a really long t-shirt for any of you thinking about this it's really really long and I've tucked it in and there's actually too much material to really tuck in so I would personally like tie a little bow and I'll show you so this is how long it actually is and this this is unisex this t-shirt I what I would do is because there's actually too much fabric to tuck in I would crop it kind of like that like properly no, not the way you can see it because it's really scruffy but I would oh, I can't do it you know what I mean I'd have it there and I'd, I'd have all of this up on the waist level I'm also looking at these earrings and they're so cute let me adjust the exposure don't you think these earrings are so sweet I'm looking at these as well and then this is that navy dress, which is just, this would look so much better with heels on, which I think you can see there, it's got the monogram stitched into it. It's nice. It's very warm for any of you looking at this. It's really, really like quite thick, warm fabric. These and the sneakers I was telling you about, they also come in cream, which I might go for the cream. Pink's cute, but I don't know. And the laces are really cool. They're like terry toweling almost. I would say, if you're looking at these, in my opinion, they come up large by about half a size. So if you're thinking of getting them size down by half a size, I would say. being lazy I haven't done them up I think with this pink top I quite like them I've been driving this car today now uh, and I drove it as well yesterday and I thought I would give you just a bit of an overview on it really because this this car and the price of it and what McLaren have done with it, they've taken a supercar and they've made it much more suitable for everyday use. So although this car looks completely wild, which it does, and it looks incredible and it's really breathtaking, it's actually something that having driven it, compared to the 600LT, having driven it it's comfortable you've got um manual mode if you want to um to be a lot more wild but actually in auto you've still got the speed the torque's really good so the low down torque when you move away from traffic lights let's say is epic you know you touch the accelerator and you really go but also the high up torque so when you're already going at speed and you put your foot down it really does take off you know that's basically what torque is so you might find that your car is slow off the line but then when you're already going at speed and you put your foot down on a motorway or something it really takes off or you might find you've got the the opposite thing this is really good 
in both situations. It also fits golf clubs for any of you who play golf, but I'm actually mentioning that more so because you can use this totally to do your food shopping, your groceries. Why not? That's what we do with the 600 LT um, and the Porsche is that we we make a point of using them every day, although we do have the Ford Fiesta. But to give you a little bit more information on this car, it's 165,000 before you've really added anything to it. But that price, when you compare it to some of the other brands out there, this is comparative with some Porsche cars. If you, or, or even um, cars from other brands that you wouldn't necessarily have in the same category as McLaren, you would be surprised with this. And I don't know how much it would be on finance. I would say for any of you interested, even if you think, oh, it's out of my budget. Like if you're, you, if you're in a situation of owning these kinds of cars, you might find that actually it's quite surprising. Who knows, there might be some deals on. But the, a couple of other things with it. So 165,000 on the road before you've put things on it. This is a four liter V8 and it's twin turbocharged, which is another reason why you've got that really good torque high up and low down. 612 brake horsepower. My 911, that's, God, I don't even think that's 400 brake horsepower. I think it's a bit under it from memory. This is an animal. This is absolutely fantastic. So do I think it's worth it? I actually really do. And if I were going to spec it, I think I would go McLaren orange with black alloys. Um, and on the, they've got some amazing interiors that you can get. I'd really go wild with the interiors. And it really gets attention, so what more do you need? Just a small review there that I thought some of you might be interested in. Um, anyway, let's, um, let's get back to the vlog. I'm, I'm going to have to be really annoying at this point and um, explain, well first of all, I hope you quite liked that short segment, that review on the McLaren GT. I thought I would add that in because we I was loaned that car by McLaren Press and they said if you like it give it a review, if you don't, don't. And I was using it for a few days and it's such a fantastic car that I thought I would give it a mention and just share it with you and share with you all what I thought about it. But I said that I was going to do a haul and I am going to do that haul in Sunday's video coming up and the reason for that is I've already recorded it and it's made this video 40 minutes long and no one is going to want to watch for 40 minutes. I know some of you might say you will but most people won't. So I'm going to end it here and come back and join me on Sunday if you want to see what I bought because one thing I bought and I got and it's from Fendi and I got £200 discount on it and I will tell you how I did that but thank you all for watching I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video